Don't give too much freedom to your opponent. Today learn the funniest part of defending, so how to apply pressure and win the ball quickly. Welcome back in a simple but effective tutorial. Hey guys, deep researcher back in a special tutorial. Give hard time to your opponent while he is building up and try to win the ball as early as possible. To learn this, you must have mastered the following techniques. 1. Defense shape. Effectively your players must be in their right positions to press the opponent, so you have to know the formation you are using, and how players positions themselves while you're not possessing the ball. Briefly, when I'm using 4 triple 2, this is how players position themselves, so I try to press with every player when the ball is in his region, such that every player takes his responsibility where presses but remains in his position, this creates solidarity and it gives your opponent difficult time to break the wall. Don't get me wrong, keeping every player in his position consistently it's difficult, there are situations where you find a player in a wrong position, take a look at this example, I lose possession, my opponent passes to his goalkeeper, and I'm controlling Mbappe, I anticipate a pass to his open player, I could run there to press with Mbappe because in our formation, he is the one supposed to be in that position. But I have a player in that region who can press, Verratti, we know he is not supposed to be there and he is trying to run back to his position, but I wanna press, when I run with Mbappe to press, we may be late, so I switched to Verratti and I pressed my opponent forcing him into bad position, he panicked and passed into my player, so I used a wrong player in a right situation. Number 2, right stick switching, the most important one, we already made a tutorial about it, but briefly is where you switch players by flicking the right analog to the player you want to switch to, where the player with the cursor acts as the center of the switch. Maintaining team shape gives you the ability to switch players effectively, so we use right stick switch to position our players near the opponent's players, to be ready to press if makes that pass, or cut pass lane. When we talk about pressure, second man press is the key factor, we also made a tutorial about it. In applying pressure on opponent, we use second man press to press the ball holder, while we cut the passing lane, after positioning our player, then we switch back to press the ball holder manually. Most players tend to follow the change of the game direction, what I mean shifting from one side to another without using long balls to switch sides, you have to know when they are changing game direction, and be able to switch players to press. Those are the fundamentals, now let's see how to do it. Here my opponent kicks off, my team is shaped in a 4-4-2 shape format, I have two strikers in front, my opponent passes the ball to his downer CDM, I anticipate him passing downwards because of the game direction concept, so he is shifting downwards, I immediately right stick switch to my winger to press because the ball is in his region, I hold second man press to keep my striker pressing, as I sprint with my winger to apply pressure. He passed to his right back, I spot his open player in the center, I can't cover the pass lane using my winger because he is far and late, so maintaining team shape while pressing I switch to my CDM Conte. I ran to cover the pass lane while holding second man press to keep my winger pressing him, I knew that he will not pass so I immediately switched back, my opponent turns away and faces his goal, I began pressing him, so panicked and I anticipate him passing to his center back, I switch to my striker to run into pass lane while holding second man press, he passed the ball and I win it easily. I used all the fundamentals to able to apply pressure to my opponent, team shape, right switch, second man press and game direction. Knowing when to cut passing lane and pressing the ball holder, Cut pass lane when your opponent has two or more passing options, you have to cover the effective one. Pressing the ball holder, when your opponent has only one passing option, or when you isolate his player, this is the perfect opportunity to press the ball holder. When your opponent manages to beat your press, 
You are vulnerable to counter attacks, but remember we usually press high with only 6 players, so we remain with 4 players who can defend the counter attacks. Remember this, if your opponent breaks your press and reach your box, you have to stop pressing aggressively. When you win the ball high the pitch, there is possible chance for you to score, because you have many players forward, so why don't you use it because the reward is greater than the risk. My custom tactics, 4 triple 2 formation, in defense style I use balanced, width 50, and depth 70 because I press high. In terms of player instructions, all my full back I instruct them on stay back while attacking, then my middlefielders, cover center and cut passing lane. Actually applying high pressure it's really a big complicated topic, but I tried my best to simplify it, special notice, I received a comment that some of you guys find it hard to concentrate while music is playing in the background, so tell me in the comment section, can I quit music, or I continue, I'm ending here, catch you in the next one.